Hey, what's good everyone? Calm is Ed here. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make the best Valorant TikToks out there. You've probably seen these on your timeline. Videos are highly edited, got all the subtitles, graphics, everything. I'm going to teach you step-by-step step in this video how to do it. However, you are going to need Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you don't have it, uh, you can go on YouTube and you can probably find a free alternative. But if you do have Premiere, this video is going to work perfect for you because it's really hard to do subtitles not in Premiere. Step one, you're going to need to have your raw clip. You can see I have a clip right here. This is the same clip I used in my Valorant Knife Fight video if you've seen it on my TikTok. However, this is this is the raw video right here. Also make sure you have your face cam in the bottom left or somewhere where you can see it. If you don't have face cam, that's totally fine, but it's usually preferred and it'll make it look a little better. You're gonna go to this website called Streamladder. I'm gonna include a link in the description. And if you already have like a Twitch clip you wanna use, you can do that as well. But I usually go to upload local file, go to found your raw clip, and then just open it in here. So once you have your clip already imported right here, it's gonna take you to something that looks a little like this. You can see uh, you have a lot of options of what you wanna do. I usually go for split, uh, one of the free ones. For me, it automatically does this, but normally it's gonna be sort of something else around here. And you're gonna have to move it around a bit. Let's so just simply line this up with your face. There are other options for which ratios you have but just make sure it lines up with your head and your face and you're gonna look good and for this one i what i usually try to do is line up the edge of this to the edge of my face cam now this actually ends up looking good because you're able to see the gun or the knife or whatever in the hands and the crosshair is kind of in the middle but it's a little off which usually is fine it usually won't matter that much so then you're going to come here to edit and you'll see all the stuff with stickers and ladders and streamliner plus and if you have streamliner plus go for this but what i usually do is i just sort of skip all of these and i just go right here to output settings you're going to see it's going to be in 720 don't worry about that at all we're going to up res it and make it look all nice and good so once you've got all this done you're going to go here and click render clip and it's going to render your clip out and you just got to wait for it to do that okay so once your thing has fully rendered out you're going to get something that looks a little like this just go right down here to download and make sure you download your clip as you can see if we pull it up here we can see it is nice and vertical for us this is perfect this is exactly what we want take it into premiere pro just by dragging and dropping it. So once we go to here, the first thing we're gonna do is take this and pull it over to our timeline. What I usually try to do is whenever I'm editing my vertical videos, you can come up here and yours is gonna definitely gonna look a little different because I've edited this a lot, but you should find something called vertical. This is much better because you can see your whole video to the right side of your screen instead of like kind of tiny in the, in the middle. Now, the first thing I always do, we're gonna up res this and we're gonna change it. Come over here to sequence and sequence settings. Once we're here, you can see it says 720 by 1080. We're gonna change this to 1080 by 1920 and then just click okay. Then we click okay again and you're gonna notice it's small we're gonna come up here to scale and set it to 150 and there's one last trick i always do to make sure my videos don't get distorted by scaling them up you come over here to effects and you look up sharpen so take the sharpen effect drag it right on here and set sharpen amount to 10. just by doing that your video is going to look nice and up res so once you've got it all resed up the next thing you're going to do is go through cutting and only include the most important part of your video since tiktok is such a fast-paced platform you're going to want to be kind of harsh with how you cut it so i'm just going to go through real quick and cut up this video until i just have the important parts of the video a little tip that i've noticed here whenever you in your footage have a time where you're planting a spike what i usually do is go sort of all the way to the end right before they sort of stamp it down and i'll just include that part of the planting the mom because the audience can they can tell that you're planting bomb you don't need to include the whole thing now i'm going to go over how i make my subtitles very briefly i have made a tutorial on how i make my subtitles more in depth but i'm just going to go over them really quickly right here so the first thing i do in subtitles is press t on my keyboard to get the type tool and just click once creating this graphic i extend this graphic over my entire footage and go with my cut tool and then just cut out all the parts where anyone is talking so once you're here and you've cut up all the text to match all the footage. For subtitles, you honestly should be using presets. It makes it so much easier and so much faster. Once you've imported your presets into Premiere, you're gonna see this one preset here called TikTok subtitles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight everything, take TikTok subtitles, and then just drag and drop them on. I'm gonna include a link to Finzar's text presets. They're free and we can go get them. I always go and include transform preset for stretch width. We're gonna start coloring them uh, in a second and differentiating who's talking when. But for this step, just go through and type out what everyone is saying when. Since TikTok isn't very big, try to make your text, try to cut it up a bit more so that it doesn't go too close to the edges of the screen because again, they're watching on TikTok, there's gonna be the like button and everything in the way of that. So just make sure you have your text sort of small and only a few words. I hope I explained that well. Okay, here's a perfect example of this. In the first line, someone says, huh, this dude really wants a knife fight. So right here where it says, huh, this dude, that's gonna be the entire text. So this time it's really wants a, and then right here, I'm gonna do knife fight. 
see the fast changing text is going to be very engaging and also again doesn't get cut out by the edges of the screen okay so once you got our subtitles in now we're going to go for the colors and differentiating who was talking when for this first text so you're going to come over you're going to click on your text you're going to come over here make sure your text tool is out and you're going to highlight the whole thing and then come over here to effect controls scroll down until you see stroke then we're going to change this what color do you want let's let's make this let's make this blue okay so something like this looks good so once you've got this you're going to come down here to these numbers which control c to copy this go to the next fight or the next text i mean calm down stroke control v i'll do this with all the times when person a is talking okay so once you've got all these in you might need to do this a few times depending on how many people are talking but so far we've got a pretty good looking tiktok come over here to the end and then i push o on my keyboard and then i push control an M, or you can do file export. So once you're here, I'm going to give you the preferred output settings. So usually you don't have to think about this, but make sure frame size is 1080 by 1920 and frame rate is 60. So we're going to push more and scroll down and make sure you have use maximum render quality and come down and your bit rate. This one's very important. Make sure to set your bit rate to 50. Now, if you've noticed that this is sort of yellow, just give that a second. That's Premiere being weird. It'll figure that out in a second. Make sure your format is set to H.264. This will make it an mp4 video make sure output is somewhere where you like it and we can rename this knife fight tiktok and then once you're ready just come down here to export and click export so once you have rendered out your tiktok right here so what you're going to do is you're going to take this tiktok and you're going to go over to google drive you're going to take this and then just drop it in you just wait for it to upload and then you're kind of all done with this part when it comes to anything on your computer the rest of what you're going to do is going to be on your phone so i'm going to switch to that right now once you have your video successfully uploaded to google drive you're going to go onto the google drive app on your phone and you should see right at the top it says knife fight tiktok so we're just going to click on this click the three dots in the right hand corner come down and push save a copy you're going to give it a second you're going to come down and then you're going to push save video and this is just going to download it to your camera roll so you can upload it to tiktok or reels we're going to go to the tiktok app okay so once we're here you can see this is my page we're going to click the plus you're going to click upload and then we're going to press on our video right here you probably already know how to do this but i'm just going to go through it anyways so you're going to go to adjust clips and add sound i usually try to go for like lo-fi sort of background music that doesn't really distract from the point so i'm just going to do this one right here called chill vibes and then i take the volume and i always set the volume to the lowest to give me which is one here's a mistake that i actually see a lot of people doing by accident is that the song actually goes way longer than the tiktok so you're gonna have just a ton of black space at the end of the, your video sometimes tiktok will catch this sometimes it won't it's a little iffy we usually just just take this drag it along and like bring it back and it's right there so boom just like that we have our tiktok nice and ready so we're gonna go save there's one more thing that you definitely have to do is when you do more options make sure high quality uploads is on you really want to do this to make sure your video is just nice good quality add whatever cover you want you can do this you can yeah do yeah you know tiktok you y'all got this y'all no problems but yeah thank you so much for stopping by if this has helped you let me know in the comments if you want to share some of your videos with me i would love to check them out so that'll be the end of the video and peace